it's not about that this is the conflict and this is not you know so it's all of it and you can't deny one aspect and kind of say ki that is the only aspect of so it's you know it's a humanitarian issue it's a political issue um it's also now become a religious issue you know uh, the culture uh, what we had grown up into is not the same you know there is a different kind of islam which is coming which is alien to the local um, sensibilities there are three distinct cultures there are many languages there are five major ethnicities and um, i think five major religions so so all of these identities and issues and ideologies and political aspirations you know they cut across intersect we have uh, like uh, religion in a big way in the sense it's it's part of the conflict yeah but as 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 when you were growing up we all had shared spaces so religion as such is not the issue between communities it's made to believe and it's being used as such so all of this uh, diversity and dynamics that i just shared with you that is what the politics politicians play on and you know they work through these fault lines and divisions so, so our work is located in this entire complexities of uh, conditioning of experiences of memories of history of uh, of the uh, fault lines um and how each community sees their own reality and truth and kind of negates the reality and truth of the other the whole process of othering and stereotyping which has now come so 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 the so work becomes uh, that is why it becomes so challenging because uh, whatever is happening in the environment directly impacts and influences uh, the mind and uh, so our our work on perception that we do is to uh, is to break and dissolve those identities and uh, help the young people to discover their own true nature or self we are doing a uh, very powerful strong work at the local level and it's a breakthrough it's a module which we have tested it's uh, giving results we initially started with uh, very young children and we used theater and we still continue to use theater and art storytelling uh but over the years um, the target group has now changed uh we now target around students around the age of 16 to 25 so these are undergraduate um, students and university students uh we go to the college the first level and there are around 50 or 60 students in a workshop it gets Uh, at times overwhelming and uh, they they at times don't even let us start the workshop uh, there is lot of intimidation and uh, you know questions and this. they just want to tear you apart as i said the workshops are ex- experiential we don't lecture or you know so is through um activities and uh, we lead them through the experience of discovering that uh, all our identities you know that also includes gender which is very interesting that this, this these workshops also help to break the gender stereotypes so the work as i said is on um, identity uh, whether it is religious or cultural or ethnic or regional or political or gender based um so we help them dissolve all these identities we help break uh, stereotypes and prejudices and uh, we tell them that you know while these identities will always be there uh, but we are not those identities you know uh, 
so they experience the whole thing of how not to identify themselves with those identities identify with the emotions that they feel identify with the thoughts that they have and uh, discover their own true self and in 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 that moment when they discover it's amazing that how they connect to each other because at that level they are they experience that they are one and same uh, so, so we call that a box and so by the box in the hindi it's called dabba so so they all want to get out of that dabba then you know and while the dabba remains um uh, they are not that dabba so <laughs> so that's also called out of box thinking you know so how do we think out of the box mm -hmm. so so that's what uh, help them relate uh, to a new kind of experience and then we we identify the leadership uh, potential in some of them out of the 40 50 60 10 might have that leadership and then we bring those 10 from one college and another 10 or 5 or another college and so on. these are colleges located across the three regions so we bring all of them in a residential workshop then at the second level see it's not an instant work and uh, when we say leadership we mean that uh, these young people uh, not only lead themselves but also plant the same seed into another person so it it's a vertical growth and then also we see them as as next generation politicians bureaucrats policy makers educationists so once they are clear in their perception as to who they are and how to relate uh the, the world view changes so it's a long term agenda that we have in mind i once minister met a local minister we wanted some uh, support from him uh, he uh, and uh, he he told me that why should we support you you know uh, so i was telling him as to what is the process and you know like he said no this is not possible he was from ladakh and he said we are three different people you know ladakhis kashmiris and jammuites and a unifying perspective is not possible and then i questioned him that if you have a unified command why not a unifying perspective so the state looks at the conflict only from the sovereignty territorial and security point of view this element of uh, uh, of human beings of relationships uh that is missing in the um, you know government and state pr perspective in the and in, in the political leadership so that is where our work is not only to bring young people across uh, these fault lines for dialogue but also to um uh, also to create a unifying perspective uh, that there is a possibility to create a common ground and and to nurture that to sustain that i'll quote one of the young students who recently at the conclusion of a workshop i asked them what is one last uh, thought that they are going back from this workshop what is one learning that they are going back from this workshop and she told me that peace is not something in the external peace is when things are breaking up in the external there is complete uh, silence and peace the new so uh that is the work that we are doing that Uh, till now i think we were touched around 400 young people through colleges and hundred of them are feeling peace within them themselves you know uh, so peace in that context is possible um 
will it bring peace uh, in the external uh, arena i think uh, conflict is just an expression of uh, your own mindset and once that mindset changes uh, its manifestation its expression will change and that is what we call conflict transformation you know it's basically personal transformation and and that is our and that is our motto and that is our slogan you know from personal change to social change so once that change comes a transformation will 